And I'm back with another review for you guys today. Today we're playing Battlefield 1, actually, for the first time in a while. What the fuck? My first time playing this game online or on camera for you guys in a while. So excuse me if I kind of suck and, you know, whatever, I'm not doing something right. I've just picked up this new gun, so I really don't know the, you know, what I'm supposed to do with it. Probably not going to be a medic, we'll just be an assault for now. This is kind of a, like a late Valentine's Day video. I didn't make one yesterday since I had that cinematic video I was making. I couldn't really, I, I, I just honestly didn't really have a video up ready for that day. So sorry if you guys wanted to see something a little bit better. This is kind of also a news video, so just to let you know that obviously we're going to have some Battlefield 1 content coming back. Uh, I have a lot of friends that play this game. Not, I guess, I guess you could say often, but not like super crazy amount. Like I play Call of Duty. What the fuck is him? Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Anyway, yeah, Battlefield 1 content actually seems pretty fun to make. Hopefully we can continue the trend of uploading various content. That's really what I'm gonna do for my channel at the moment. Just like upload various content and make it actually interesting for people to watch. I need to turn down my sensitivity, what the fuck? But yeah, I just wanna say happy Valentine's Day. I, I guess you guys saw that at the beginning of my video, that little skit I did with my Xbox and Call of Duty. Since obviously those are my pride and joy of my channel, as well as my, you know, gaming career at the moment. Hopefully we can get some Battlefield in there a little bit more. You know, obviously this game's actually pretty fun. The graphics are always amazing. It's just, I, I honestly, I didn't find it so much that's fun with this game until of late. I've actually been playing a lot of this game. I played the War Stories finally. You know, a lot of these Call of Duty grinders, they don't really play the story of a lot of Call of Duties. They don't really play the stories of Battlefield. They just play it for the multiplayer. And I don't blame them. They're just grinding from day one, right? But you know, I like to take pride in what the developers make. And, you know, in cases like Infinite Warfare especially, they take pride in their, you know, campaigns. They obviously took a couple of years to make that shit. Might as well just pay a little bit of mind and listen to what they have to say. What the fuck? The Infinite Warfare campaign was amazing, uh, as well as the Battlefield 1 War Stories. I, those are the ones I just finished early, as of late. Those were pretty great. And of course, we lost. That kind of sucks. Maybe we can play another game. All I really play is a uh, Domination if I'm not playing with anybody because it's like the only objective game mode where you actually get kills. It's not like a Call of Duty where everything's like super spread out. And I guess it's not really spread out. It's just like the spawns are really shit in Call of Duty Domination. And I really like how this one's more like quad oriented on the spawns, which I really like a lot more than I do any other, you know, game. Obviously there's not so much fucking waiting. Obviously we only have like 30 seconds before the next game starts. We actually got a battle pack, which is cool. Valentine's Revision Pack. I am recording this on Valentine's Day, so, you know, just if it's like a late video, I, I apologize. Let's see what we get. This, that's a Royal Edict pistol. That doesn't look cool. But yeah, I hope you guys really had a good Valentine's Day or are having, or yeah, did have a good Valentine's Day. Usually what I do on Valentine's Day, I try to cherish, you know, everything I got. If you guys don't know Jev, he makes like this really sentimental video. Phase Jev, shout out to him. I'll leave his video down in the description if I remember to. And he really like, he puts it in the right way. He has like a good story behind why he does his Valentine's Day videos the way he does. So I really commend him on that. Yeah, I hope you guys at least got like candy or some shit. I got some fucking, um, like some shit from my mom. Sad, saddest thing about Valentine's Day is getting fucking Valentine's from your teachers. Yeah, Valentine's Day, it's always fun. A lot of video games have like updates and shit for it. So where you can like get a little bit back from the holiday, I guess you can call it. I know Rainbow Six had the, like the OG Valentine's Day camo. I still rock that from time to time on my guns. I, I, I bet you nobody watching this video has it unless you're like Angel or Bark or some shit. But really the OG guys that played this game. But yeah, I really don't have that much to say about today other than like just charge what you got, you know, spend time with family and whatever. And you know, keep grinding if you're grinding like I am. But yeah, basically for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna be talking over the gameplay. I'm not gonna be so much talking. Hopefully I can get some good commentary. Obviously my commentary is fucking shit to some people, which I don't disagree with, but I don't agree with entirely. Get destroyed. All 
Alright, just service star. Let's reload. What the fuck was that? Gotta spawn back up here since I know there's a shit ton of people upstairs as well as coming into the A flag. What the fuck, dude? See, the thing about the Gruer, which is by far one of the best guns in the game, is that like sometimes I get one hit kills, which is great, always fucking amazing, but sometimes it doesn't and it really triggers me. Like, I guess you have to aim higher. I guess that's just not what I'm doing. I'm not, I don't play with control freaks on my Battlefield games. I usually just do it for Call of Duty since I need a much more faster reaction time. As you can see in the beginning of the video, I had super high react, super high sensitivity. That's because I, I thought I was good at the game, but little did I know. Oh, let me do this again. What the fuck was that, dude? Gruer95? Oh, he's on top. He's gonna spawn me all the way over here. I'm not gonna notice. This guy's over here. I'm a little busy. I did change the color of my hit markers, which actually helps it a lot more, helps me a lot more. It kind of resembles Call of Duty, you know, like the orange hit markers back from like Ghost or something like that. Cause it really helps when I'm sniping and that, that I'm actually getting my shots and hitting them. Well, that was not a good nade. There's a lot of people here in it. I wonder how many people are in this building. He shotgunned me, what a cunt. I'm spawning here. Worst spawn ever. So we can maybe take over A, that'd be kinda cool. And he's behind me, nope, 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 nope. Fuck! What the hell is that guy doing? Where is he killing me from? This is pissing me off. Got one. Dude, I got one of them, now I'm triggered. Dude, the groove with the sight looks it's nice, dude. Holy hell. I doubt I can quick scope with it. Let's try. Flame Trooper Kit is available. We're actually gonna try to get that. Okay. Dude, I'm so lost. Looks like there's a lot of people here. That's a regular nade. Not gonna fuck. God damn it. This guy looks like he's got it down. Not really. That guy was so unexpected. Holy fuck, dude. That was a lot of people. Just take it. What? I hit him for 89. He killed me with an MLE. I do, do not have my bayonet on my gun, just so it, I don't I ADS a lot faster. Like that. I hit him. Didn't do good though. Dude, I could have had him. Then you get a better support weapon. If you guys have any, please comment them down below so that I can improve my Battlefield 1 game. This gun's actually not that bad. What the hell? This gun shreds. What the fuck? What the fuck? Let's use the medic class only because I never used this gun and I'd like to get good with it. Wherever these guys are, don't see them. It's getting a little scared. That's a nade. I'm not gonna be there to help my mate. There's a guy behind me. Oh boy. Note to self, never use medic. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.